Hey, what's happening there guys? Elton McFall here. Look at what I found here. My lordy, these cars are so rare that I only have one vintage ad for it. And not only that, I've never ever seen many of these cars. I think it, this is the only the third one I've ever seen. It's a 77 to 78 Riviera, as I mentioned in the title. Amazing. It's got the original Buick Mag wheels on it. The paint is uh, surely repainted old repaint man oh it's so cool it's so pimping it's so 70s and it's funny again you know maybe it is the original paint look how it's all dulled out here but man it's weird because they only made these this body style two years and then they were shrunk down like all the other gms you know like the toronado and the eldorado and uh, man that's amazing Very cool. I wish the sun was out, but it got all cloudy today, unfortunately. Something responding. Ambulance. Oh, wow, look at the old seat covers. Just like on my 65 Le Saber I used to have. Dash looks to be the same as a Le Saber Electra. Man, oh man, that is cool. But what I noticed also was weird. You got your rubber moldings here, and then there's another one here. Looks to me like this car sat for most of its life, unfortunately. Oh man, I would love to buy one of these cars, seriously. Regardless of how bad I say, they're just so rare. I mean, the engine for this, for sure, it's gotta be a 403 in it. Uh, I'm thinking, is, was there any other engine in these cars? Or did they have a 350 in it? It was a standard 403 maybe because it's such a boat, you know, just like the Eldorado and the Toronado. Man, oh man. Look at that. It even had a, a unique to this car Riviera hood ornament. That's your Riviera symbol right there. Look at the chrome is beautiful. What does it say? Look at that. Racine Chevrolet is sold right here in, in St. Jean sur Richelieu when it was new. You got your indicators over here for your turn signal. This was like a gimmicky thing right here. These would light up when you would put on your turn signal. You know, if you're going left, going left, then this one would light up going right. Ah, it's so cool. That's so cool, man. Damn, that's cool. Well, you know, if you're looking to buy a Luxo bars like that, don't expect any fuel economy whatsoever, especially since this is made in the Malaysias and you got like all kinds of this fucking anti-pollution bullshit. Don't buy the, don't, uh, by the way, if you're also younger, don't expect any kind of horsepower on these cars, you know? It's just, uh, it, it's, it's just part, it's an era, a product of its time, you know? That is so cool. I was hoping all day, there's Ben, we're driving around here, we were in Farnham earlier, and we're train spotting, and I thought, oh, love to get an old car somewhere, and we saw quite a few of them, and there you go. Awesome. And I gotta thank Ben for that. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.